I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore the difference quotient expression simplification which is going to help us to find slope of tangent for different kinds of functions. Now here the question is simplify difference quotient. We have 3 plus h to the power of 4 minus 81 over h. You might get in your test such expressions where the exponent could be 4, 5, 6 or much higher number. Now it is difficult to remember how to expand this, right? If it was 3 plus h whole square, you could have easily expanded. Now to expand such binomial expressions with higher degree, what should you use? Pascal's triangle, correct? So Pascal's triangle is the key here. Let me sketch Pascal's triangle. And those of you who do not remember what it is, I like them to follow the link here and understand how to get the values. Basically you start with 1. Let me use a, a darker color here. So you start with 1 and then as you go down on the corners it is 1's and 1's right like this. And every time you go further down you add previous 2 links. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So that is how you get. Now this is called the 0th row, 1st row, 2nd row. Okay. So then now we are in the 3rd row. Right, so in the third row we get ends are always one. Combine two plus one, two plus one is three. And let's move further. Now, since the degree we are looking for is four, we have to go for the fourth row. Now, these are actually the coefficients for your expanded version. So one plus three is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus one is four, and one. So these are the coefficients which will help you to expand the numerator. Knowing these coefficients, we can now expand the expression 3 plus h to the power of 4. So let us see how. So the first expression is, let us say a and b are these two. Then the degree of 3 will be like, kind of like this. Uh, let me use another ink. So we'll use two different inks so that it becomes simpler for some of you to understand it who haven't really used Pascal's triangle. So we write 3 to the power of 4 plus then we write 3 to the power of 4 with decreasing degrees of 4 so like 3 uh, and then again uh, I'm leaving space I'll fill it up uh, 3 to the power of 2 and then we say plus 3 to the power of uh, 1 so that's okay and then uh, plus uh, 3 to the power of 0 that means 1 right so that is the last term obviously if you have to expand a binomial with degree 4 you actually get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, right? Now, the coefficients are given by this. So, the space which I left here is for the coefficient. 1, 4, 3, 4, 1. So, 1. So, let me write 1. Doesn't really matter. 1. And then we write 4 here. Okay, 4. Then 3 for the next one. And then again, 4. And, and then, sorry, this is 6. I'm sorry, 6. That's what I was thinking. So, it should be... 1, 4, 6, right? And 4, and then 1, correct? So these are the coefficients for your binomial expansion. Now the other terms which fit in are degrees with h, right? So here it is h to the power of 0, which is 1. In this case, it is h to the power of 1, then h to the power of 2, h to the power of 3, and h to the power of 4. So that is the expression which you get for 3 plus h to the power of 4 correct and we do have minus 81 I'm running out of space let me squeeze it in here divided everything by by h right so that is how we expanded 3 plus h so so that is how we have did I'll show it once again here so let's combine all these terms now it's too complicated so let me write it once again so we get 1 times 3 to the power of 4 so I'm just writing 3 to the power of 4 times h to the power of 0 which is h plus next coefficient 4 3 to the power of 3 so that's 3 cube and h plus next coefficient 6 3 to the power of 2 h square when you add these powers then you'll always get 4 so 3 2 plus 2 is 4 okay and then 4 3 to the power of 1 h cube so 1 plus 3 is again 4 and then 1 3 to the power of 0 is 1, h to the power of 4 minus 81. So I just rewrote everything uh, divided by h. 
Now, 3 to the power 4 is 81, so 81 minus 81 is 0. So, what you really get is, is the terms in between from which you can take h common, right? So, I can take h common here. So, let me write h and then I can multiply these. So, what we have here is 4 times 27, correct? Uh, plus 6 times 9 uh, h. I have taken h commons from h square, I left with h. 4 times 3 is 12 h square, right? And then we have plus h cube divided by divided by h, correct? Now h and h cancel out, correct? So you could simplify this as these numbers. So let me take the calculator to calculate these values. So we have 4 times, okay, 4 times 27 equals to 108. So we have 108 plus 6 times 9, 54 h plus 12 h square plus h cube, right? So plus h cube. Now, this is the simplified expression for the given expression, right? So that is how you could simplify it. I'd like you to review if you don't know how to use Pascal's triangle, uh, because that could be a key thing for you to prepare for your own test, right? I hope you understand and appreciate how we have done this. Now, in case we have to find uh, the value of the expression if h value is given at times you may be given h as equals to 0 0.01 then you can substitute 0 0.01 and evaluate sometimes you may be given h is approaching 0 it's very very small in that case this particular expression will be approximately 108 right now if I give you h equals to 0 0.01 I can find the value of this expression to two decimal places. So that is another way. In if the question is find simplify and find the value of the quotient to two decimal places, then you have to use h as 0 0.01. So that could be a question also. So these are variations which you may uh, which may help you to to understand these kinds of questions. Thank you and all the best.